Hi all, today I'm going to demonstrate how to load colors within load script. Let's say you have a requirement of assigning fixed color schema for your dimension values. So instead of manually changing the colors in the chart properties, you can load the RGB values in the script. This process helps you to save time and also you can use this technique for persistent colors. So let's get started. So let's look at our raw data, which is in Excel. So let's open the Excel file. So we have country as dimension, sales as measure, and we have RGB values, which means uh, red, green, blue. And let's go back to click view. Let's look at the script, control E. Okay, so we have our script ready. So let's go ahead and reload the document. Click on reload. There we go. Okay, now we have country and other fields. So let's select country and click on add. So this will add the list box. Click on OK. So we have our dimension as a list box. Now let's go ahead and create a new sheet object. So right click and then click on new sheet object and then click on chart. Okay, now let's click on next. Now let's go ahead and add dimension, which is country in our case. Click on add and then click on next. Now let's go ahead and add our expression, which is sum of sales and then click on OK. Click on next and then click on finish. So we have a simple bar chart and the default color is blue. So let's change some properties so that uh, it's more readable. So let's go to the presentation tab and let's restrict to 10 bars at a time and show the x-axis scroll bar and then click on apply. And okay. So now we have to go ahead and change the colors. So click on properties again. And then let's first look at the colors tab. So we have multicolored checkbox here but uh, we are not going to use this option rather we will load the colors with by using the expressions so let's go to the expressions tab and then click on the plus sign and then we have background color so here we will go ahead and use the expression so we will use the rgb function rgb and we will use the only function and we'll call our field names so our first field name for R will be my red, yeah, and then comma only again, and then my green, okay, comma again, and then only my blue, and let's close the brackets. So let's click on OK. Let's click on Apply. And let's click on OK. Excellent. So now we see the country dimension has multicolored options, which is actually taking from our preloaded values within our load script. OK, so and these colors are persistent. When I say persistent, if you make a selection, let's look at for Americas, which is kind of between magenta and pink. So even if we make a selection on Maricas, so so we'll see the same color. So that's for, that's how it works. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and have a good day.